What are you, what are you doing there, Andy? Man, this is budget waterproofing. <laughs> we... So currently in the heart of Blue Mountains, going canyoning, and we can finally hear some sort of waterfall. Currently at Rocky Creek Canyon with Andy and Pat. We just swam through ice cold water. We are all exhausted and cold. Lucky for me, I had a waterproof bag so I could keep this camera inside. So whilst I'm here, I wanted to make a little video as well. And I think this will help you guys learn how to take um, panorama photos via your camera or your phone. It's pretty easy. So what you do is basically is take a photo in landscape, just of the front here. So you take a photo like this, take a photo like this, and take a photo like this. And I usually take around three to four photos to stitch them together in Lightroom. And I'll show you how to do that when I get back home. <laughs> Bro, look at the jump. <laughs> nah, I'm taking the smart option. Oh, that's cool. There are like two huge boulders stuck in between the canyons. That's Far out. Nice. So we're in the canyon now and I think we have to we have to full swim now. Currently walking on the log. Oh, I'm going to get out of bed. Hey, I'm going to get out of bed. My legs aren't working because it's so cold. Oh, you need to be quick. We have to go. Oh, shit. This is crazy. No way. So we made it. Look at the light race. It's insane. Go for it. <laughs> okay, so Andy just went down the fly, so I'm gonna try it out as well. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Nothing's ever what we expect, but they keep asking where we go next. Oh, we're chasing is the sunset. Okay, so I'm now back home, so we just jumped straight into it. What you want to do is basically import the photos that you took in landscape into Lightroom. Then select all three of them, right click, and there's a there's a thing called photo merge here. And I'm pretty sure you need to have the latest um, Lightroom to do this. So for those of you who's not paying a subscription, um, you probably won't have this feature. But you want, what you want to do is go to photo merge, then press panorama. Then what Lightroom does is basically um, stitch those three photos together. And you, depending on like what lens you shoot with, I shot this in 16 mil, so perspective won't work. So it will be more warped. So I need to choose spherical if I want to um, stitch them together. So we'll just wait as it builds a preview. So that's what it looks like um, after the three photos have been merged. Then you can either change the boundary warp to make it more wider. I like it wider so it fits the Instagram crop because this is a little bit too narrow. So I want to put it a little bit wide and press merge. Then it will create a panorama automatically. So there you have it, a much wider image. I wanted to get the whole surrounding. And you can do that for any photo. Like it could be this one, this one, and this one. It doesn't matter. Select them all. Photo merge, panorama. It's, it's pretty cool perspective. And you can just try out different things. You can try spherical one time, try cylindrical. Then yeah, yeah that's that's that. Oh sweet. I think I might keep it keep it a little bit yeah narrow like this. Maybe see what cylindrical looks like. May look better. Oh yeah, oh yeah. 
actually I might keep it I might keep it like a square so we'll merge that together okay now there you have it <laughs> three landscape photos put into a much wider image and this I usually do this for like kind of look up to get some cool warp kind of feel to the trees or if I don't have a wide enough lens to capture the whole surrounding of the location that I'm in. So that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed that little tutorial. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you leave a big thumbs up and help me out by hitting subscribe. And with that all said and done, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.